All right, guys, we are on content roll. Uh, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for allowing me uh, my mental health day yesterday. Uh, for those of you who reached out to me, uh, my homegirl, Jana, reached out to me. Uh, she was like, hey, you okay? And uh, my buddy, Chuck, reached out to me. And, uh, you know, my buddy, Country, reached out to me. And, like, you know... It's funny is that you don't really think that people notice your content because, you know, the analytics, they don't lie. You don't have a lot of views. You don't get likes and stuff like that. But I'm not doing this for the likes or the follows. I'm doing this because I'm documenting my life in hopes that it inspires somebody in their darkest moments like this man's music inspired me. And the fact that I got to meet him and I feel like we're building a friendship. He's a freaking awesome human being. And if I can have... A tenth of the effect that this man's had on my life on somebody else's life, then I'm doing something great. But I've also come to realize in the last 48 hours that the people that I want to inspire more than anything is my children. And I want them to know that they can be anything they set their mind to. They are great human beings, that they are truly, truly the greatest gift that God ever gave me. And that, you know, without my children, I would be lost. And in doing so, I've come to realize that, you know, sometimes I won't be able to make content. And sometimes I won't be able to put things out there. But if you're following, subscribing, liking, or visiting my page, I want you to know that when you do come across this page, there will be something positive for you to look at in your darkest times. There will be something to tell you that, hey, this guy is human. This is, uh, you know, this is how he gets through it. This is a page where everybody is welcome. I may not agree with your politics. I may not agree with, you know, a lot of things in your life, but I will always tell you, how can I help you? where can we get, how can we get from where you're at to where you need to be? Because it was done for me and I'm only paying it forward for it was done for me. I'm only doing what my mom told me that if I use my powers for good, I'll change the world. I'm no longer taking from the world. I'm trying to give. I wanted it to be known that when my final breath this came, I gave 110% and I left the world a better place than I found it for my children. And if that's the only people that I changed the world for, then I've done more than enough. Because my children are going to set the world on fire with love, hope, and healing and changing the world because they changed mine. And I hope that you have people in your life that inspire you. I hope you have people in your life that, in, that make you go hard. I hope you have days where you feel broken and you can get through it and realize that you are an a unstoppable force of magic, love, hope, and healing. I hope that when you see the world is at its darkest moment, you are the brightest light in the room. I promise you that is what the world needs. No matter what you think, that is the, what the world needs. Uh, they need your magic. If you woke up today, you have the gift of 1,440 minutes to change the world and, because the universe and your higher power was not done with you yet. Because you best believe when you finish that mission, your ticket will get punched. You will be moving on to the next phase of your journey. And I am on fire. Some days I struggle. Like yesterday, I had a hard time just even being nice to somebody in traffic. And today, got some sleep, got some perspective. And I understand that not every day is going to be a day of rainbows and farting glitter. Some days are going to be dirty grunt, you know, embrace the suck, as my Marine says. Um, so I am embracing the suck yesterday. I got through it. And hopefully by being open, honest and vulnerable with you guys, somebody who's struggling today can watch this video and say, hey, look, I'm not the only one. And he got through it. I'm telling you guys. We are 100% victorious on days we thought were going to break us. So let's get into this positive affirmation and change the, change the world today. I am ready. My efforts help me succeed and I can make a real difference. My hard work will pay off and I am strong. I have the power to make the right choices for me. I have faith in my abilities. I got this. I'm grateful for what I can do. I'm happy to be me. My goals are achievable and I am confident. I'll be kind to myself today, and I'm on the right path for me. I deserve love in my life, and I'll take action to accomplish my goals. I'll celebrate the progress I'm making to reach my goals, and I'll look for the good in things. I'm always learning. I trust myself, and I'll try new things, and I'll turn negative thoughts into powerful, positive ones. I'll accept myself as I am, and I love myself. 
I'll make time for what brings me joy and I'm powerful and I believe in myself and it's okay for me to have fun. My possibilities are endless. I'm well rested and full of energy. I'm relaxed and at peace. I'm strong in mind, body and spirit. My life is a gift. I deserve love and happiness and I care for myself and healthy food fuels my body. Today I'll take steps to reach my goal and I give myself room to make mistakes and grow. I'll find moments of joy today and I'll embrace my power. Now, today is, was, and will be a great day. Even yesterday in my darkest struggles, I did not give in to, oh, because I've been, I am known in my own mind to go on the very dark side of, and I'm not talking about, you know, Star Wars. I'm talking about, I will beat myself and hold myself hostage for a mistake. But the truth of the matter is, that's how you learn. If you're not making mistakes, then you're playing it safe. You're in the comfort zone. Today was a good day. You'll never in a million years hear me say it's beyond my control. My attitude creates my reality, and I'm sure you can agree it's not true that good exists only if one's surroundings are good. True happiness will be obtained because it's all in my mind and my heart, and it's not true that satisfaction and happiness don't last. Goodness will always shine through, even if the world seems like a pretty evil place, because when you take a closer look, there's always something good in every day. And don't try to convince me that today was the absolute worst day ever, because what you believe is what you achieve. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost certain that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. you got to think high to rise. you got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or late, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can what you believe is what you achieve. Now, I needed this yesterday, and even though I didn't make the videos, I did read this to myself twice. You're going to grow to the next level that awaits you in 2024. There are people, places, and things that you have to leave behind in 2023. If you're not willing to let go of certain people for whatever reason, these people will hinder you from reaching the next level. If you're not willing to stop going to certain places for whatever reason, these places will hinder you from reaching the next level. If you're not willing to let go of certain things for whatever reason, those things will hinder you from reaching the next level. Talk to your ultimate weapons, your corner people, to clarify and verify who those people, places, and things are. Let's do this in 2024. Now, th this next thing, that was my stomach growling. This next thing uh, is my finances, man. I feel like lately I've been stuck in this cycle where I'm getting more in debt and the goal is to get out of debt. But the truth of the matter is I'm right where I need to be. I need to be patient. A good friend of mine told me, when you expect things, that's when things go wrong. That's when you get resentful. That's when you get angry. The truth of the matter is everything's going to happen in the right time, in the right season. Just be patient. So by December 31st of 2024, this is my goal. I plan to be completely debt free. Taxes, uh, credit cards, student loans, personal loans, everything, mortgage, uh, car payment, and I'll be buying my second home by the end of the year. I also will have a million dollars sitting in my bank account. That'll be my seed money to build my empire. And every year thereafter, I'm going to double that. So in 2025, I'll make $2 million, so then I'll have $3 million in the bank. 2026, I'll make $6 million, so then I'll have $9 million, so forth and so forth. I'm going to break generational curses. I'm going to build generational wealth. I'm going to set it up so my family for the rest of time will not be able to give the money away, let alone spend it. And the universe will not be able to, to give us so much that we've stopped. Like, I'm done hoarding my blessings. I am blessing the universe with everything I got. You cannot fill a cup or you can't add to a cup if it's filled to the brim. And that's what I've been doing. I've been hoarding everything because I, I didn't trust the universe to give me more if I gave away what I had. And I'm not talking about going broke. I'm talking about being blessed and abundant mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially. Because when you go all in on the universe, the universe goes all in on you. And I'm going to do this by building a social media empire whose sole purpose is to help you achieve your goals and your dreams on your definitive purpose, therefore achieving my goal and dream of changing the world through random acts of kindness. And the last thing I'll talk about is never, ever, ever let yourself settle into the comfort zone where hopes, dreams, and ambitions go to die. Because there's three directions you go every day in life. You're either going backwards, which I did for many, many years. You're going forward, even if you fail, if you're failing towards your goal, you're one step closer. Or you're doing the worst thing you can do to yourself, which is stay stagnant and live in the comfort zone where hopes and dreams and ambitions go to die. 
In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise, a random act of kindness will change the world. You guys rule. I hope you have a great day. God bless. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind.